Hello Lancer fans and welcome to Lancer Central. We're here to keep you up to date about everything going on with Longwood Athletics. We're wrapping up the fall sports and transitioning into winter, so grab your hoodie, bundle up, and let's get right to it. Longwood Field Hockey made it to the Mid-American Conference semifinal for a second consecutive season. The first two appearances for the team since joining the MAC in the 2014 season. The club faced off against the three-time defending MAC champion Kent State Golden Flashes, falling 4-2, finishing the season with an 11-6 record, the most wins since going 13-9 in 2011, and it was the highest win percentage in the Division I era for the program. The team loses eight seniors but brings back keeper Katie Wyman and leading goal scorer Leonie Verstrada, who will each be seniors for the 2018 season. Women's soccer put together an incredible 2017 season, making a run to the Big South Championship match for the first time ever. They took out Charleston Southern 3-0 and Liberty 2-0 on the way to the championship game, and the Lancers were finally stopped by High Point. It was a 1-0 loss in the final. Women's soccer finished the year 13-5-3, the most wins since 2012, when the Lancers went 13-6-2. Returning in 2018 for Longwood are leading scorer and first-team all-conference selection Emily Kupsov, first-team defender and the defensive player of the year, Sydney Wallace, plus the freshman of the year in Kerry Reaver. Now for those of you who say basketball is your favorite sport since you like the way they dribble up and down the court, you're in luck. Basketball season is here. Longwood men's hoops opened the season at home and everyone's basketball Jones is scratched and the Lancers took on a tough Stephen F. Austin squad to start the year. The preseason favorites in the Southland Conference knocked off the Lancers 74-61, but Longwood landed some big-time blows, like a posterization dunk by forward Jaleem Montague playing in his first collegiate game since the 2015-2016 season when he was at Palm Beach State. He's recovering from three knee injuries since his high school days, so head coach Jason G said he's trusting the process and using the Joel Embiid minutes restriction plan with the redshirt sophomore Montague. Now, he did play 22 minutes and stuffed the stat sheet with three blocks, eight rebounds, and three assists to go with five points. Leading scorer for Longwood was a familiar face, redshirt junior Isaiah Walton. The wingman knocked down seven shots on his way to putting up 21 points and also forced the issue defensively with four steals. Though Longwood didn't knock off Stephen F. Austin in the opener, it was a nice showing by both Montague and Walton. And before the season started, our Autumn Childress sat down with both of the second-year Lancers. I'm here with Isaiah Walton, redshirt junior, and Jalene Montague, redshirt sophomore, both from the men's basketball team. How are you doing today, guys? Good. I'm doing good. Well, I saw on social media this morning that we are officially three days away from the opening tip yes, in Willett Hall. How do you feel about that? Uh, super excited. What about you, Ja? Uh, I'm pumped. Can't wait. Okay, and now Isaiah, you ended last year as the point guard for the team, and I know you typically play on the wing. How was it adjusting to that new position? Um, it was difficult at times learning how to adjust. I had to learn how to slow myself down, kind of uh, think the game out more. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's really helped me transition into my role now. Uh, I kind of just mostly focus on scoring points, so I've been really enjoying it. And now, Ja, last year you had to take a medical red shirt because you tore your ACL. You didn't get to see the court at all. How has that motivated you for the upcoming season? Uh, it was just a way to humble myself and to get myself better in a lot of different aspects of my game, um, IQ-wise, mentally. Uh, so it was just a way for me to better myself in other ways. And now, Isaiah, I took a look at your roster, 17 players, 13 of which have three or more years of basketball experience. What does that bring to the team, having so much experience on your side? Um, that just brings a lot of depth. Um, like you said, a lot of experience. Uh, we have a few veterans on the team that have experienced a lot of success so that's just really going to help us you know for this year and next year going forward and now Jaw, with those 17 new players what new things is the team doing this this year um saying as though a lot of us got hurt last year we, we have made a, a real big emphasis on recovery days so after practice we do things like uh pool workouts and we've been doing a lot more yoga during during the uh, week so we just been focusing on keeping those 17 players during throughout the year and you guys start off the season with three straight home games. What does that mean to be able to play in front of your fans that early in the season? Um, this is really exciting. Uh, we get to show the fans, you know, what, what, they, uh, what we've been working on all summer, and then we get to show them a few times in a row. So we're just really grateful for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so, Ja, another thing outside of basketball that we have in common is our major, communication studies, hey. the best major. Yes. What do you want to do with your major? Um, me, I want to uh, do videotography uh so i want to do a lot of behind the camera things you know uh maybe 
uh, movies, stuff like that, once I get better at it. But uh, I'm not an on-the-camera person. I'm more of a behind-the-camera person, so. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And my last question, I'll ask both of you guys this. What is one goal that each of you have for the season? Um, one goal, to get better every game that we play. That's what I would say what mine is. Um, I have a selfish goal of staying healthy this year. Uh, but as a team, I just want us to build chemistry and ultimately become big South champions. Well, there you have it. There's a glimpse into the men's basketball season. Isaiah, Ja, thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys out on the court. Men's basketball opens the season with three straight at home before heading to Greensboro for a quick two-game pre-Thanksgiving tournament, taking on UNC Greensboro on the 21st and Delaware on the 22nd. Longwood women's basketball tipped off the season on the road at Marshall, where the Thundering Herd topped Longwood 90-45. It was a tough game for Longwood as Michaela Ellis was one of the team leaders with just nine points. She was joined by a couple of newcomers, Christina Antonenko and Q King, who each scored nine. For Longwood, they'll need solid play from returners like Ellis, Autumn Childress, and several others. Now, two of the younger veterans, sophomores Kate Spradlin and Kyla Hall, each joined our Christian Reefs deck in studio before the first game. Hey there, Lancers. I'm Christian Reefstack here with returning players Kate Spradlin and Kyla Hall. Last season in your game versus UNC Asheville, uh, you guys had a lot of good highlights there. Um, would you guys both mind going through sort of how you felt about that game? Let's start with you, uh, Kyla. Um, that was just a boost of confidence. That's all that game was. Mm -hmm. They played at a high standard and we rose to it, so I'm glad we we rose to the challenge. I think definitely for us that game was kind of a culmination of everything that we put put in all season. I mean, Kyla had a had a great game for her, and we rose to the rose to the challenge and on the big stage. You know, I was proud of our fight in that game. And how do you feel that confidence is going to be taking you into this season? Are you guys feel like you're going to be coming out full force? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think that we're mm -hmm. going to come out going as hard as we can. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kyla, how did you feel about your first season playing with the Lancers? How does it compare to uh, other experiences you've had in the past? Um, it was definitely new. It was something to get used to, but I feel like towards the end of the year I got comfortable and I feel like it's nothing just going up from here. And uh, Kate, you had a, uh, you've had quite a journey yourself. You started off as a walk-in and you rose to now being a starter. Uh, what does that journey kind of feel like for you? Like what, what did you have to go through in order to get to where you are today? Uh, I think it took a whole a lot of hard work and uh, determination and uh, my freshman year I had an injury and just had to fight back from that so I think it's taught me a lot about um, hard work and just trying to stay focused on on the goal and I think it's made me a better player through that. And is there anything else that you guys are going to be looking to be bringing out this season? Is there something since you guys are both returning players uh, how does this year this season since it hasn't started yet how is this season sort of compared to the previous? Any differences you're noticing so far? I just feel like it's going to be a different style of play and a whole lot of energy. Going off of her, I think we're just going to play faster, uh, increase our in intensity on defense, and uh, bring a whole lot more energy to every game. Are there any goals you both are looking for this coming season? I think just bettering our skills and being a better teammate, that's all I have. Being able to contribute as much as possible to help the team and uh, be more vocal on the floor, try to bring more energy to the squad every time we go out. Well, there you have it there, Lancer fans. That is Kate and Kyla. Women's basketball opens the home season Saturday the 18th against UMass Lowell in the first of four doubleheaders with the men this year. Well, that's all for this edition of Lancer Central. To stay up to date, keep it locked to LongwoodLancers.com. Watch for Longwood Athletics on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And listen to our minute update, the Longwood Athletics Sports Flash, weekdays at 520 on WVHL Farmville, 92.9 Kick and Country. Well, that's our show. Thank you for joining us on another edition of Lancer Central. For Autumn, Tristan, Christian, and our entire Lancer Central crew, I'm Darius Thigpen, thanking you for tuning in. Catch you guys next time. Hey there, fans. For more information on Longwood Athletics, keep it locked to longwoodlancers.com. Listen to the Longwood Sports Flash daily at 5.20 p.m. on WVHL Farmville, 92.9 Kick and Country. And follow Longwood Athletics on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter. Of course, you can also subscribe to our YouTube page. It's right down there. Just go ahead and click on it. Anytime you want. I'll wait.